Hello and welcome everyone. It is time for Jim Comics Top Picks for New Comic Book Day this upcoming Wednesday, January 2nd, 2019. It's going to be our first haul for the new year, 2019. Wow, did 2018 go by fast. I mean, I'm not, I know it's not totally over yet, but uh, we're getting pretty darn close. Putting this out just before New Year's. Um, I hope everybody had a good Christmas and uh, has a happy new year. Um, I look forward to another good year of comics, boy. There's uh, looks like there's some good stuff coming out. And uh, before I get going, I want to thank all my subscribers. Really appreciate you watching my channel and sending me comments. I tried to catch up on some of my uh, comments. I've just been really busy with family and stuff over the holidays, so didn't get a chance to answer you guys up until recently. So uh, um, thanks again, everybody. And I didn't pick up any books this week, just because there was only a couple books out that I was interested in in my shop. I just had them hold them for me for next week, so I'll show those next week. But it looks like there's a few good ones out this week. It's a, it's a little lighter week this week again. I know I'm, I'm not supposed to use that word, but <laughs> it is. Uh, it looks like the companies have kind of held back on stuff. There is some really good titles coming out this week, though. Um, from Independence, from Dark Horse, only one I'm looking at from them is Stranger Things number four. And like all the, the issues before this one, there's a bunch of covers. And I believe this is the last one in that uh, in that miniseries. So I'm going to finish that off. And from Dynamite, uh, Project Superpowers, number five is out. This has been coming out for a while. And Matina's been doing a lot of the covers for these. And I haven't been buying them. I thought, you know, it, they looked okay. But the one for this week, cover A, looks absolutely stunning so i have to buy that one and then there's a virgin cover um as well it's a limited variant that looks man that looks i'm gonna try and get that one i don't even know if my actually i sent my shop an email he's not even bringing them in because people weren't buying them but uh he's gonna or he said he could still get me one so i'm gonna definitely try to get that one i probably won't get it this week but when it shows up boy it's a nice looking cover reminds me a lot of that nightwing cover uh 49 i think anyways it's going to be one in my top covers of the year which just by the way i'm i'm almost good done sorting my books it that was way harder than i thought it was going to be that took a ton of time but uh look i'll hopefully get that out today too so anyways that's it from independence just the two stranger things and project superpowers number five and that one's just it's totally a cover by but anyways from dc action 1006 that looks to be a good one because it looks like the uh, leader of the Mafia is revealed. Kind of that secret Mafia behind the scenes that Red Cloud is working for. So I'm definitely going to get that. There's two covers for that one. Probably only going to get cover A. I'm not a big fan of cover B. There's not a lot of great cover Bs out this week. There's a few of them. But talking about cover Bs, Batgirl number 30. Uh, cover B is a Middleton cover. That's a nice looking cover. People have uh, showed image of that quite a while ago, I think, as, a, as an upcoming book. That looks like a good one. Batman Beyond 27, like in that series. Two covers for that. I like cover, well, cover A is okay, and cover B, uh, I don't know. I'm probably not going to get cover B. Um, Detective Comics 995 is out this week, and man, that series is getting, it's been good for a while. And leading up to 1,000, that's definitely one I'm getting. Two covers for that one. And cover B is a really nice, uh, boy, that's a nice cover. Brooks has been doing these covers for a while. But that one looks just, it looks awesome, so I'm definitely grabbing that. Um, and Titans 32 has got Mother Blood on the cover, and it's her origin is revealed in that. So that's going to be a good one to get. Try to get that one if you can. And that's it from DC. I'm not looking at a ton from them. For Marvel, there's a few relaunches this week. Uh, Champions number one is relaunched. I'm going to grab one one copy of cover A, and that is it. Um, we'll see how it is. The, you know, A lot of times when they launch these, there may or may not be a new character showing up or an origin of somebody or whatever. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, the big one this week, the relaunch, is Conan. That looks really good. I've been waiting for this one for a while. Um, there's a ton of covers for this, folks. So, I mean, you get what you want. I'm going to get, uh, and I know there's a bunch of limited aftermarket ones and stuff. I'm, To be honest, I've been staying away from those for quite a while. And I mentioned this before, too. Um, I will buy one for 25s, one for 50s sometimes from Marvel or DC if they're putting out limited variants. But I'm staying away from a lot of the aftermarket ones. I know they're gorgeous covers, a lot of them. And if you really like them, hey, you buy what you see your money, you buy what you want. But for me personally, I have to really like the cover in order to buy it, which I bought a few of them. But um, for the most part, I don't find value-wise they increase very much at all. So just take, just keep that in mind when you're buying them. It's like I say, it's your money, you do what you want. But uh, Conan looks really good. And interesting, if you look at cover A, I can put that on the screen right now. 
If you look at, uh, I don't know if you notice this, but the Conan's chopped the guy's arm off on the left side, and his arm is just kind of, he's obviously just chopped it, it's kind of fallen, <laughs> it just looks really cool. So that looks it's pretty violent, but uh, anyways, I'm get, definitely getting that. Um, Deadpool number eight, I've put him on my pull list, and um, it looks like there may or may not be a new character in here, I don't know. But I've been like I've been enjoying Deadpool, so I'm getting that. There's two covers for that one if you're interested in that. Mortal Hulk looks really good. They just showed up in number 11s out this week. Two covers. Um, they showed up in Hell in the last issue. The green door opened up, and they're into Hell now. And in, in the next issue, the one below all, his true identity is revealed. So we may get an appearance of the one below all in this one, but not in his true form. So and man, it's been a really good series. I highly recommend that one. Infinity Wars, Infinity Number One. Um, I don't know what the cover image it even says right on it. Final cover image hasn't been revealed, so we'll have to wait and see what that looks like. But it looks like there's only one cover, as far as I can tell. So, gonna try and pick that up and picking up Infinity Wars all the way through. Um, Man Without Fear is uh, is out this week, and I believe that's a five part mini series, which will lead into the new relaunch of Daredevil. Um, there's a bunch of covers for that one, but the one I really like is uh, cover A, which is the Kyle Hotz cover. It's a nice looking cover. Really, I really like it, so I'm definitely grabbing that one. Marvel Knights number five, three covers for that. You got your A and B covers, which are, you know, not bad. Then there's a limited, I think it's a one for 25. Gorgeous looking Hulk cover. Man, I really want to get that one. I sure hope I can get that one. That is a nice looking cover. And uh, I'm really liking the Immortal Hulk, the way he's uh, they're writing to him now. It's awesome. And one of the uh, True Believers is out this week. I mentioned in my last video about those spec books to buy, that they were doing a whole bunch of these Conan books. And Conan number one, doing the True Believers of that one. So if you don't have the original one, pick up a couple copies of that. It's a good uh, good one to have because that, that is Conan's first appearance in comics in North America and everything. So definitely a good one to get. So that's it for me this week, folks. Like I say, it's a little lighter week. So my top covers, um, Batgirl 30, that cover B, it's a Middleton cover. That's a nice looking cover. Detective Comics 995 cover B, that's a really nice Brooks cover. I really like that one. Um, Project Superpowers number five, cover A, your trade dress, and then cover G, which is a limited variant. That's a version of the cover A. Man, that is a nice cover. That's a Matina cover. I really like that one. Um, Marvel Knights, I just mentioned this one, that uh, that limited variant of the Hulk. Man, that is a gorgeous cover. I just, for whatever reason, that one just really strikes me. That's a nice looking cover. And I like, I mentioned Conan number one, cover A. I really like that cover. It kind of reminds me of the old um, 70s artwork and stuff. Reminds me a little bit of, um, of uh, Frank Frazetta's artwork and stuff. I uh, really like that. And I just like how the arm is kind of chopped off and hanging in the air there. So that's really cool. And the last one is that Man Without Fear um, cover A, the Kyle Hotz cover. I like that one. So my picks this week, I've got five for you. Uh, Mortal Hulk 11. Like I say, they're in hell, and it looks like um, the one below all. I don't know if he's going to be showing up in this or not, but I would suspect he does. Probably last page of the, of the book. So definitely pick up uh, Mortal Hulk number 11. They've been leading to this one for a while, so it's going to be a good one. Detective Comics 995, that looks, um, had that character show up in the last issue. And we're going to learn a little bit more about who's controlling them and all that kind of stuff. And it's leading up to a thousand, so that's going to be a really good series. Uh, I mean, it has been good for a while, but definitely pick that one up. Action 1006, the leader of the mafia, that uh, secret mafia, looks like he's going to be revealed in this one. Deadpool 8, um, possibly a new character showing up in there, so I'm definitely grabbing that. And Titans 32, because it looks like Mother Blood's uh, origin is revealed in this one. So that'll be a good one as well. So that is it for me this week, folks. Take care. Happy hunting. Stay safe on uh, New Year's. Talk to you later in the week. Bye for now.